Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your video with Filmora 12. And I will also show you how to set up your image preference so that you can add your image and create some crop to fit or fit or zoom and pan effect for your image. Added to that, I will also show you how to create animation for your image also. And being mentioned that it is a question from one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel. Added to that, I will also add this tutorial to my Filmora Masterclass. If you want to learn more about Filmora, check out my video description. Okay, so I have tutorial for all version of Filmora in my class. And the price for the class is already 25 US dollar. Okay, don't forget to check it out. Alright, so this is my Filmora trial and let's start by creating a new project first and being mentioned that the aspect ratio for my project is 16 by 9. Okay, and let's click here, new project. And now you want to import the video and image to your software. Okay, I'm going to click here. For example, I can use this video and uh, let's click here and then I can import another image. For example, this one and this one. Okay and then we can click open okay so the first thing you want to put your video on the timeline for example this one i can put it at the track number one and let's keep the project setting and mute the audio and this is my video so supposing that i want to add an image to to cover my video or stuff like that all i need to do is to click at the image here and then i can just Put it on top of my video and this is my image it is very simple right by the way before you add your image to your video you need to double check your image preference first okay for example in order to double check your image preference you want to go to file and then select preferences and then you want to select editing okay so at, at the editing tab you have the photo duration so this is five seconds and it is the default duration for your image whenever you add your image to the timeline it will be five seconds if you want to make it 10 seconds or stuff like that it, you can even change it to frame here also okay by the way i will leave it five seconds and the second option you need to double check is your photo placement so we have three options right here if you want to double check you want to click here uh, we have the first option fit meaning that the software will straight out the image to fit one side of the video okay and the second one is crop to fit so if your image size is different with the project size the software will crop your image to fit with the project size and the last option is pan and zoom when you add your image onto the timeline it will create a pan and zoom effect for your image okay so let's try all three options here for example this is the first one fit okay and let's click ok to go back to your timeline and now if you drag and drop an image onto the timeline it will create a fit effect for your image for example i can drag it here so now we see here this is the image and if we use another image for example I can go to stock media and find another photo okay some photo for example i can use this one this is a 9 by 16 image and when we drag and drop it onto a timeline it will fit one side of the video okay so here's the image and it will fit with this side and we have some black bar or some empty space right here okay and this is the first option fit and what if we change the reference to crop to fit uh, let's go back to our setting okay select preference and now at the editing we can change the photo placement to crop to fit and let's click ok and now if we drag and drop the same image onto the timeline for example at this position the software will crop the image to fit with the video okay and put it here and you see here it cropped the image to fit with the project setting or the video and if you want to adjust the crop area you want to select the image or the timeline and then select this crop button and this is the crop area we can adjust the position and you can even adjust the size also okay and if you want to maintain the aspect ratio you can select it here and then i can make it like this and then click apply so it will change the crop area of your image okay something like that and now the next option is pan and zoom 
we select here file again and go to reference and then we can go to editing and change the photo placement to pan and zoom we'll create a pan and zoom effect and let's click ok and now we can drag and drop to image this one this is the first one just put it here on the timeline and now you will see the pan and zoom effect in our image you see that and if you want to adjust the pan and zoom and stuff like that you want to select the image on the timeline and then select drop button again and this is pan and zoom and you can adjust this is the end point and this is the start point you can also swap the end point and start point here so to create another zoom zoom in or zoom out effect okay something like this and if you want to adjust the position of the zoom and pan you can do it also for example at the end point i want to move it right here and being mentioned that you can also keep the aspect ratio also okay and then we can play and click apply and what if we drag and drop a portrait image to create panel zoom so we can just do the same with the same image like this and then we can play so it will create pan and zoom effect for our portrait image also okay so these are three settings that you need to double check before you add your image onto the timeline okay and let's delete everything first for example i can add this image onto the timeline and now it has pan and zoom effect right and if you want to get rid of this pan and zoom effect you can also right click at the image on the timeline and then you can select this option crop to fit so it will crop the image and just fit with the screen okay something like this very nice right and if you want to adjust the duration of the image on the timeline you can just click here and extend it to where you want okay so this is how to extend the duration of the image on the timeline added to that you can also scale up or scale down your image and adjust the position of the image on your video also if you want to scale down this one all you need to do is to double click at the preview window and then you want to click here and then you can res resize it and move it to another position here on the timeline okay so that's nice right and what if you want to add animation effect to your image okay so let me show you how to do that all you need to do is to double click double click here at the image on the timeline just double click here and then select image and now you have the animation tab right here just select it okay and now you will have two options to add animation to your image the first one is preset animation it will create some keyframe in your image for example if we can select this one pause just double click to apply it and now Filmora will create four keyframe on your image and let's play it nice right and we can adjust the distance of the keyframe to control the speed of the animation for example i can move the keyframe like this just slow it down and move out slowly okay so this is the first option and let's delete all the keyframe here and the second option is to use the motion even though you don't want to use a preset animation you can click here at this drop down menu and you have preset motion legacy just click here and you have a bunch of different motion you can apply to your image for example you want to have this one zoom in to just double click to apply it to your image and let's click ok play that's nice right but be careful when you want to use the preset motion because the speed of the motion will depends on the duration of the image on the timeline for example this is a long image so the motion will be very slow but if you shorten the image here on the timeline it will happen faster okay play and if you shorten it a little bit more for example i can shorten it to something like this uh, it's about uh, one second then your motion will be very fast let's play it okay so this is how to add an image to your video by the way if you already have an image on the timeline you can add special effect to your image easily for example you can go to the effect and then you can add this shake effect for example just drag and drop it here so it we have a motion and also a shake effect 
Okay, and finally, if you have more time, you can add the animation keyframe to your image yourself. Okay, for example, I can select this image on the timeline and let's make it about 10 seconds. Okay, and this is the image with pan and zoom effect. And for example, at this position, I want to scale down the image and move it to the right and then I can add animation keyframe so if I want to I can click here at the keyframing button just click here so this is the first position and this is the second position I want to scale it down something like this and then I want to move it to the right so I will move my playhead to this position and then I can adjust the position here okay and now I have just add animation keyframe to the image manually and this is the effect all right so this is how to add an image to your video with Filmora 12 I hope this video is helpful for you and if you like the video hit the like button and if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video goodbye